Kyle, I think they, they gave you a fourth foul pretty early in the third quarter and, and basically played every minute from that point on. Just how conscious are you of that? Well, I, mean, I knew I had a couple of fouls early and, uh, you know, getting that fourth one early and, uh, and then the third, which is, you know, coach with the confidence to let me play it out and um, to trust me. You know, you know, it's just the relationship that we have. And I trust myself out there in, in that situation, but um, at the end of the day, we got to win and that's all that matters. Do you make any adjustments when you know that you've got a high foul count like that? Of course, you can't be as aggressive. You got to be smarter. Um, you want to stay on the floor because we all want to play. But uh, at the end of the day, you can't worry about that. You know, uh, just got to adjust my, uh, my my aggressiveness and uh, go from there. I'm just trying to give him some help. That's, that's all I'm trying to do is give him some help. I mean, this, this guy is playing unbelievable basketball. He's averaging over 30 points, shooting, well, I don't know how many, I don't know his percentages. It don't even matter. Um, <clears throat> Just playing the way he's supposed to play, and uh, in, in the way he knows how to play, and no matter what anybody ever says, and you know, he, he's productive, and uh, he's playing really good basketball right now. This is the first player since Kobe in '05 to have three straight games of 30 without a three. Is that just <laughs> this game, man? That's his game. That's his game, and you know, people say you don't shoot threes. It don't matter. You average 30 points without shooting three is pretty impressive, no matter what. Uh, I just want him to keep going, and uh, I know he will. You and Jonas really had the pick and roll working tonight. Some of those things just over the years, the chemistry between the two of you, you know where he's going right. to be, he knows where you're going to be. Is that just one of those things that's gotten better with time? Fifth year playing together, kind of got there. It took us five years to get there, but, uh, <laughs> but it's, know, looking it's, good. it's all it took. But um, it's been great. It's, um, you know, even we had one tonight, and they played some good defense on it, and I wish I would have threw it lower. But um, his ability is to, to set the screen, he's getting better screening every game and rolling and understanding how to play and, and knowing the game is, is helping him and helping me and helping our whole team. Beginning of the uh, it's hot breath on my neck. <laughs> hey, what's up, Joe? It don't matter. Your breath is hot. <laughs> Beginning of the second half, they got back into it. Yeah. You kind of engineered a, a run, basically, to reestablish that lead. Like, we've seen you do it before, but do you kind of take a bit of responsibility, a bit of you know, impetus to uh, do that? I take responsibility for my team not coming out aggressive in the third quarter. And so, you know, I, I take a, we gotta, I got to do a better job of getting us better. At, better at that um, myself and Damar and um, when it comes to those situations we just got to find ways to you know like finish it fix it or, or and to get it correct the, the ship you know what I mean and in certain situations like it, them being aggressive we got to figure it out to change the, the the aggressiveness and assertiveness to switch it to us how did you guys see anything in the last six minutes you held them three points the last six minutes after I, uh, I think Jameer hit that three, and then um, we started showing hard on it, one, three pick and rolls, and I think we packed the paint a little bit more. We started being a little bit more physical. Um, you know, when the game comes, it comes down to those type of um, situations, I think we've been together so long. Uh, we're tired in the string, so I think it was one play we all scrambled, scrambled, and, you know, contested a jump shot, and Jonas finished with the rebound, so it was good. Dwayne Priest, the rookies, for just not just playing off. Starting right now, but all of the information that they're processing. Yeah. Um, at once, when you think back to when you first came into the league, is that one of the hardest parts? Is just trying to learn the, the language, the terminology is one of the hardest things. But you know, we got great guys around those those guys. You know, myself, Demar, Pat, Jonas, is year five, Terrence. You got a bunch of guys that can help them. You know, kind of bring them along with speed and you know make sure they're okay, not putting too much pressure on them, making sure that they can understand. Okay, you're allowed to make this mistake. But this is how we're going to fix it. Do they ask questions of this stuff? That they're not yet. Not yeah, they're still, they're, yeah, we just tell them what to do. They listen. We got great rookies, smart rookies. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys.